and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. Summer holidays, vacation activities, and risky drinking. Summer is typically a fantastic season for outdoor activities and spending additional time with family and friends. For some people, these activities include drinking alcoholic beverages. This summer, take measures to protect your own health and that of your loved ones. Swimmers can get in over their heads, alcohol impairs judgment and increases risk-taking, a dangerous combination for swimmers. Even experienced swimmers may venture out farther than they should and not be able to make it back to shore, or they may not notice how chilled they're getting and develop hypothermia. Surfers could become overconfident and try to ride a wave beyond their abilities. Even around a pool, alcohol can have tragic consequences. Inebriated divers may collide with the diving board or dive where the water is too shallow. Boaters can lose their bearings. The U.S. Coast Guard reports that alcohol consumption contributes to 18% of boating deaths in which the primary cause is known, making alcohol the leading known contributor to fatal boating accidents. Point 1. A boat operator with a blood alcohol concentration, BAC, of 0.08% or higher is 14 times more likely to be killed in a boating accident than an operator with no alcohol in their system. Reaching a 0.08% BAC would require about four drinks in two hours for an average size woman, 171 pounds, or five drinks in two hours for an average size man, 198 pounds. It is important to note that the odds of a fatal crash begin to increase with the first drink. Point two in addition, according to the U.S. Coast Guard and the National Association of State Boating Law Administrators, alcohol can impair a boater's judgment, balance, vision, and reaction time. It can also increase fatigue and susceptibility to the effects of cold water immersion. If problems arise, intoxicated boaters are ill-equipped to respond quickly and find solutions. For passengers, intoxication can lead to slips on deck, falls overboard, or accidents at the dock. Drivers can go off course the summer holidays are some of the most dangerous times of the year to be on the road. When on vacation, drivers may be traveling an unfamiliar route or hauling a boat or camper, with the distraction of pets and children in the car. Adding alcohol to the mix puts the lives of the driver and everyone in the car, as well as other people on the road, at risk. Dehydration is a risk whether you're on the road or in the great outdoors, heat plus alcohol can equal trouble. Hot summer days cause fluid loss through perspiration, while alcohol causes fluid loss through increased urination. Together, they can quickly lead to dehydration or heat stroke. Protect your skin sunburns can put a damper on summer vacations. People who drink alcohol while celebrating in the sun are less likely to wear sunscreen. And laboratory research suggests that alcohol lowers the amount of sun exposure needed to produce burns. This is all bad news, as repeated sunburns increase the risk of skin cancer. Whether drinking or not, be sure to slather on the sunscreen to maximize your summer fun. Stay safe and stay healthy. Be smart this summer. Think before you drink. Avoiding alcoholic beverages while piloting a boat, driving a car, exploring the wilderness, and swimming or surfing can also help keep you and your loved ones safe. If you're serving alcohol, be sure to provide a variety of healthy foods and snacks. Help your guests get home safely. Use designated drivers and taxis. And if you are a parent, understand the underage drinking laws and set a good example. For more information on preventing problems with alcohol this summer, and tips on cutting back, visit www.rethinkingdrinking.niaaa.nih.gov. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group. Or you can read us, of course in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.